Hey guys, it's Aaron from Build On Purpose. Uh, I'm back on the ITB build and I'm not sure I've made a really good decision. Uh, and that is, the decision is to try and fit a new hard line for a fuel supply while every bit of gear is still in the car. So this is the existing hard line I pulled out. So this is at the fuel tank end. And to get it out, I actually had to cut it off just, just behind the firewall there just to get it out because I was dead set, thought I could get the whole thing out in one go. Uh, but uh, like... Luke Skywalker finding out about Darth Vader being his father, it was a revelation, or well, probably I already knew about it, but it was uh, became very evident that I wasn't going to be able to do it without getting the whole fuel line out, uh, without cutting the fuel line, so I've done that, and I've got it out, I was able to get it out, um, so I haven't really actually, I'm using a, a, a 3 8 um, aluminium hard line, uh, it's one mil wall thickness, so it's quite thick, um, but I've never actually bent up a hard line that thick before, let alone fit it in, into the car while everything's still in there. So uh, this is a new one for me, uh, and we'll see if we can get it in. Um, you never know. Uh, it might be entertaining for you guys. And a bit of a case study to whether um, it really is not a smart idea to try and fit a hard line where everything's still in the car. Okay, guys, this is the tubing I'm using. It's 3 8 um, aluminium tubing with a black finish. Uh, it's available. It's got a one mil wall section, and it's about. This is just a RaceWorks product, but I imagine you can get well, lots of other manufacturers make this kind of stuff. So the piece I actually had, I've had this for a long time, and I've actually shift, it's shifted with me on a number of occasions. And there was a bit of a damage section where something hard must have fallen on it, so I decided to cut that bit off and just give it a bit of a test run with the tools I plan to use. So um, I'm not running. I've chosen not to run AN fittings or anything like that on the end. I'm actually just going to do pushover hose barbs right now. Um, I've got a number of reasons for that, uh, but I thought with this test, this piece, I thought I'd give it a test run. So I've run a done a double flaring uh, procedure on the end. It does scratch off the black paint, and I su suspect by the time I actually feed this whole thing through underneath the car, that it's probably going to have a lot more black taken off of it. So it's a bit of a bummer that that nice finish, painted finish, comes off. The other tools I've got are just a plain old cutter, which when I cut this, uh, cuts the aluminium very quick in like two or three rotations with little force. And the other thing I'm using is just a proper form fitting uh, pipe bender. So this stuff seems to be fairly bendable by hand just using the test piece here. I would imagine you wouldn't want to bend it backwards too backwards and forwards too much, otherwise you're going to get strain hardening and you potentially weaken the pipe. Uh, but I think I'm going to have to use a fair few, there'll be a hand bending techniques involved in order to fit this pipe fine tune it through because uh, if you don't know a, a 240z or in most said cars they run the fuel lines the hard lines as well as a brake line in for the rear brakes in the transmission tunnel uh, using these little insulator blocks you can see that there's three holes the top ones for the it normally sits like this sorry like this in the transmission tunnel um, there's a top hole for the brake line the bottom line is the bottom hole is the original uh, supply line and the little one there is the original return line. So what I'm doing is I'm utilizing the original supply line as a return for my EFI and drilling out the uh, original return to fit a 3 8 pipe, which it's going to be a, a bit of a task too. But yeah, the, I think I'm going to have to... By the time I... If I I'm going to try and mimic the, the hose pipe that I've taken out with um, and leaving lengths at the end. Obviously, I'm, I don't know how it's going to terminate in the engine bay and uh, just leave a little bit extra length there, but... I think once I, if I mimic it and try and feed it through, I'm going to find I'm probably going to have to hand tweak it in the car somehow just to get it to fit properly and sit really nice. So um, we'll see how that goes. But uh, well, like I said, this is the first time I've actually bent a hard line with this size diameter with this kind of material. So hopefully I won't stuff it up. Okay guys, fast forward a bit, I'm under the car and yes, this is only on jack stands, it's not on a hoist. Uh, I'm going to have to say that uh, delivering the ring of power to Mordor would probably be an easier journey than the one I just undertook to get this in. But you can see, well, I'm hoping you can see, I'll we'll bring the light over, that it's in there. You can see the black line, the glossy black fuel line in there, so it's, it, it's in. Um, and well, what happened was I, I closely mimicked the line, the one that I took out, um, and I ended up f looking at it thinking how I'm going to get it in there. And what I did do was I fed it up into the engine bay and then brought it back in. And sure enough, it, it fitted. Um, and with a little, little bit of hand tweaking, of course, to get it in there. But then I thought, bugger it, I'm not going to take it out. So what I've just been doing is been going, oh, bring the light over. <laughs> 
clipping it in with those um, drilled out ins insulators so uh, what I do have to do is cut off the fuel tank end and flare it and also um, sort out the engine bay end so it, it's it's not entirely impossible to bend up a new hard line and get it in there with all the transmission and everything in there so um, there we go Okay guys, so I'm at the fuel tank termination end and I've put my flare on and scratched the black paint off which I expected would happen. Um, so it, it ends up being, well, a little bit lower than where the original one was and sticks a little bit out but I doubt that would make any difference and I'm pretty chuffed with how that turned out. So at the business end, this is where I ended up. I terminated the hard line vertically and put a flare on it so it's just up on the firewall here and the, the last clip clamp for it is the one that's uh, underneath in the transmission tunnel. Uh, so I've just got the hose just got to put the hose on and clamp it on uh, the hose is uh, clamped to the uh, firewall with a rubber coated clamp there and then it just proceeds to the fuel rail uh, and I thought that was probably the best the best outcome because this fuel rail actually sits quite low in comparison to a lot of other manifolds which you see are, are probably a bit higher and they actually run the fuel line in the in the re, uh, the cavity here for the um, bonnet latch so uh, that's that's where I met with that and what I'm doing now is just uh, toying on how I'm going to get the return in here um, so this is my fuel pressure regulator with a fuel pressure gauge and I'm just toying with reusing the, the existing all well, the factory uh, mounting points that would have been for the clamp clip thing that holds the fuel uh, filter for the SUs so obviously I don't know if this will be my final um, position because obviously the the um, return outlet is pointing at a rather a, obscure angle to where it needs to be so I don't know where that'll end up but that's where I'm at so if you got this far in the video I'm assuming you actually like what you're watching so if, and if you do like what you're watching I um, appreciate a, uh, a thumbs up a bit of a like there um, and leave some comments too uh, if you're new to the channel uh, consider subscribing but when I first set out um, to put this hard line in in a replacement a new supply line from front to back with all the hardware still in the car I actually didn't have very high hopes that I'd actually be able to achieve that and I was half thinking, well probably more than half thinking that I would actually have to terminate that idea and um, run a soft line from uh, the fuel tank all the way to the front here. So I'm actually very impressed with the, the outcome. A uh, bit of a bummer that the black paint scratched off a bit, but I mean function over form. I'm, I want it to do a job just primarily. Uh, I do have a bit of a concern that where I have the vertical riser component on the firewall where it returns to the first mounting point whether I've actually potentially weakened it by moving it backwards and forwards and a number of times it might have been might be negligible but still um, uh, I may have caused uh, developed a weakness in the fuel uh, line there in the tubing so certainly we'll find out when we put some high pressure fuel through it anyway I have some links in the description particularly with my website and my blog post uh, really would appreciate you clicking on that it helps uh, my information rank better to get it to people that um, I just want to help uh, and also if you're very uh, keen on supporting the channel uh, there is Patreon as well but simply just liking and commenting uh, and subscribing uh, is, is much appreciated in terms of supporting the channel so anyway guys I will keep cracking on and I'll see you in the next one cheers